the, director, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations Monday grilled Turkana Governor Jeremiah Nomorukai and five legislators from Turkana and Pokot counties over insecurity in the north, northern part of Kenya. At the heart of the summons issued to the governor and legislators is an unfolding boundary dispute pitting Turkana and West Pokot counties with remarks made by the leaders deemed as you know, insightful by the DCI. JJ Curia was there and filed this report. Governor Lomorukai, Senator James Lomenen, and Trukana South MP James Samoit, accompanied by their lawyers, arrived at the Rift Valley Directorate of Criminal Investigations Regional Headquarters shortly after 8 a.m., where they had been summoned to give information about the inter-ethnic fighting in the region. <laughs> after their exit, it was the turn of Kapenguria MP Samuel Moroto, his Pokot South counterpart David Kwasing and Kachaliba legislator Titus Lote. The summons, a long series of ongoing investigations of the political link in insecurity in the north of Kenya. Governor Lomorukai, while defending his colleagues from Tukana County, was quick to warn financiers and beneficiaries of banditry that their days were numbered. Nitaka kwenye kiti changu ya ugavana kutetea aki ya watukana. We are not going to allow a scenario where there are people who have taken the law of this country into their hands. That we cannot allow. This country is run by some laws. It has procedures. Na sisi wa Turkana tunasema tusipo pata amani wakati huu ambayo rais anasikia lugha tatu ya jamii ambayo inasozana. Tusipo pata amani wakati huu. While expressing commitment to lasting peace, Kapenguria MP Samuel Moroto, on the other hand, called for a quick resolution of a boundary dispute between West Pokot and Trukana counties. Yes. Boundaries Commission. At the Yash Parakai Commission of 2005, Ilikoni Yakatiba, and Mambia Boundary. At our Pokot Pia Walipena, issues Yawa, your boundary year 2005, Yawa Pokot, and Transwaya, and there was no intimidation, there was no harassment. We call upon those who have been entrusted to deal with insecurity and matter security in this country. They must retain. They must retain. Because otherwise, if we move like this, we are just going to intimidate their leaders, and we are not going to achieve anything. Last week, seven leaders drawn from Baringo. West Pokot and Samburu counties appeared before the DCI and recorded statements on the conflict affecting six counties in the Rift Valley. Several people have been reported dead in a month following banditry attacks in the six counties, the latest incident being the killing of a primary school head teacher in Beringo County and a police officer in Elgeo Marakwet early Saturday morning in two separate attacks. John Jacob Curia, Prime Edition.